Elder Espinosa, at 30 years of age, is two years older than Demir Ferhat Begovic. Demir is an inch taller. He weighed in heavier, missed that lightweight limit, as I already mentioned. One inch reach advantage in arms and legs, favoring Elvin Espinosa. Larry Folsom oversees our main event. You ready? You ready? A lot of Espinosa fans here in the building. Espinosa in the black trunks and southpaw sedance. Demir Ferhat Begovic in the gray trunks. Inside leg kick to open the action. Last time we saw Ferhat Begovic here in the Challenger Series, Kenny, it was a first round knockout victory. Very impressive hands and power from the Bosnian barn cat. Yeah, it definitely possesses a lot of power, especially in that right hand. He'll be looking for that here against Espinosa, who he believes is gonna try to look to take him down. He's been working a lot on his grappling in order to prevent that takedown. Good jab from Espinosa. Espinosa can strike as well. He's, he's a threat on the feet as well, knows how to set up his takedowns well. It'll be a very interesting matchup. Yeah, three knockouts, three submissions, one decision for Elvin Espinosa. This is his first trip to the Challenger Series cage, but he actually fought in the PFL Smart Cage twice in showcase bouts. 2 0 so far. Yeah, there's that shot. Demir doing a good job of getting that underhook. Espinosa trying to hook that leg. He gets takedown right into side control. Espinosa, excellent with his submissions. Gonna look to try to advance his position here. He's gonna use that cage as a, as a wedge, as a block here. And Espinosa tried to step over into a mount there, but that freed the legs of Demir Frad Begovic, at least for a minute, who's now back on his feet. Shane Burgos, 2023 PFL lightweight challenger. This is our main event, Shane. And again, it's all about these guys trying to earn a spot on the roster that you're already a part of. What are you looking for from these two? I'm looking for a bit for a big finish here. Somebody had to make a statement. This is the last fight. This is the main event. Um, I hear in the crowd, there's a lot of people out here for Elvin, I hear. So I mean, I'm, I'm expecting him to, I, I, I know he's trying to make a statement. I know he's trying to finish this fight and uh, he's looking pretty good so far. Shane, this is the last time we're gonna see you before we let you out of here tonight. What should we expect? from your PFL debut coming up April 14th. Violence. Every time you see a Shane Berg, that's why you got violence. So no, nothing different. Even more violent now because I got a little more weight. <laughs> There's Shane Burgos. Oh, oh and Elvin Espinosa with a big takedown, high volume and a slam. And again, trying to step immediately over into the mount. He'll settle for the half mount instead. The crowd goes to work in favor of Elvin Espinosa. Yeah, that was a nice takedown. Now trying to smother Demir here a little bit. Three minutes gone here in round number one. Espinosa working this front quarter here. Tyron Woodley, what have you liked so far? What I like so far is that Elvin knew he needed to get the takedown. That's where he has a competitive advantage, but he didn't force it. He didn't just dive in the legs. He actually was striking, doing a great job of it as well. And Demir was not trying to just get taken down. He was defending very effectively, but he is in his half mount position right now, half bar, sorry. And he's looking to employ some strikes and try to get to an advantage position. This is the last fight. They need to finish. The fights before have really blown it away. So they have to get a finish in this fight to really sway us to the other side. Vitor, is that what you're looking for? We've had three decisions, great fights, but three decisions. Do you want to finish here in the main event? It's amazing. I'm, I'm looking as, as, as Alvin is proceeding to this transition. He looks very efficient on his transition. Like Tyrone said, he's not just looking for the takedown. He's having the right time and looking impressive. You know, both guys are fighting as the main event. You know, they're putting hard. Michael Carter-Williams, sometimes when a, a fighter misses weight, it indicates that maybe they're a little out of shape. If this one goes deep, is Demir in trouble? Um, well, he's looking all right right now that after he got up, but, um, you know, Espinosa's been doing a good job of, of, of fighting, you know, his game, getting the takedown, um, several takedowns, and, and, and really putting the pressure on him. But, you know, we'll, we'll see right now as we're back on the feet. Good right hand on the counter there. Ian Parker, how do you see this fight? 
I think Espinosa is doing everything correct, utilizing the wrestling, taking away the power from Demir. If he keeps doing that, he's gonna win this fight. Couple of nice jabs there from Espinosa before the head movement kicks in for Demir, who uncorks a combination of his own and backs up Espinosa. Final 10 seconds of this first round of a possible three. Spinning back fist from Damir Ferhatbegovic. And we head to the second round on Fubo Sports. There's Damir Ferhatbegovic. You can see some swelling around Ready? the left eye. Yulia Ready? says round Go. two to come. Espinosa once again in the southpaw stance, opens with a jab. Yeah, Elvis done a great job of staying busy with that jab. Right hand landed there, right on the forehead. Damir Ferhatbegovic, dangerous hands. But that was a jab from Espinosa that snapped the Bosnian Barncats head back. Yeah, it's backing him up, and it's also allowing him to set up takedowns. He can level change with it. There it is right there. Good sprawl here from Ferhatbegovic. Oh, Demir. Tried to throw, but Espinosa balanced it out. Exactly. Miscalculation there from Demir. Allows Espinosa to get on top. This is not where he wants to be. Pose guard from Demir Ferhatbegovic told us, hey, I know this guy wants to grapple. I'm a good grappler as well, but you don't want to find yourself in this position under Elvin Espinosa. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to help him in winning the rounds. He's doing a good job defensively as far as defending submissions, not allowing Espinosa to really take the back or, or mount some of those major positions where you can really finish a fight. But he is losing this round. This is not where he wants to be. He's now trying to cage walk, but Espinosa doing a good job of blocking out that exit with his head. Now trying to pass half guard. Vera Begovic doing a good job of getting a better base, but that's allowed Espinosa to get the back. Gave up his back to try and get back to his feet. Espinosa trying to stay a move or two ahead. Snake his right arm in around the neck. Yeah, he gave him a little bit too much space. Oh, look at this, Espinoza. Now he's got it under, under the, the chin. chin. Espinoza squeezing tight. Demir Ferhatbegovic trying to peel the top hand off. Stop, and there's stop. a tap. Elvin Espinoza finishes the Bosnian Barncat. <laughs> Referee Larry Folsom calls a halt to the match 153 into the second round. Declaring your winner by rear naked choke. Elvin Espinosa. <laughs>